the dancer. He caught my eye as my daughter and I had dinner, as he connected with everyone who walked by his table. He ate alone, but sat in a cool, sort of hunched to the side way. And every once in a while, he would look up at the ceiling and his body showed such ease and comfort. When he was about to leave, the waitress brought over his walker and I understood the connection with the curvature in his posture. I watched as he made four subtle attempts to prepare to stand, each time relaxing back and waiting as the walker seemed to stymie his ability to stand upright. Finally, I rose and approached him from behind and asked if he would like help. And he laughed at himself. He laughed with me. He laughed with relief. We were friends in that moment. He explained that he was a dancer and that the devil had taken his legs. There is more to this story from this man from Venezia who came to Sudbury by way of Montreal, who picked fruit in the sunshine in Switzerland and then worked here in the darkness of the underground mine for 30 years. He tears up when he speaks of dancing, which comes back to his narrative over and over again. He's never been married, and he's a cheeky one. Told me, not to come visit too early in the day because he sleeps naked. He is beautiful, charming, with the face of a cherub. A human being in his story is a radiant source of light. Resilience incomparable. Grazie, Tony Pasqualotto.